Ricky Stanzi, uh, you've been working all week with Brandon Fusco. What are some of your impressions? Um, you know, right off the bat, he's a great guy. Uh, he's a great worker. Um, he does a great job communicating with everybody. And that's so important um, for our two positions, you know, playing the center and playing the quarterback. We have to be on the same page. And he's doing a great job getting guys in the huddle, establishing tempo, making my job easier so I don't have to remind guys all the time of, you know, where to line up. And, and those type of little details are very important. He's been doing a tremendous job, and he's a big guy. His snaps are right on the money, and uh, it's been a pleasure to work with him. It makes my job easier. Great. We talked yesterday. You said you had heard a slipper rock, but you didn't get a chance to. You don't know where it is on the map. Yeah, Did you, you know, get a chance I, last night to look no, it up? I didn't. I was so preoccupied with other things. But tonight's the night. I'm going to Google map that thing. Okay. Uh, I asked you yesterday. You know, you, he's working on a line that's predominantly mm -hmm. Big Ten guys. Yeah. Is, is Brandon Fusco a Big Ten caliber offensive lineman? Oh, absolutely. Lineman? I mean, if you just if, you know look at his size, look at the way he carries himself, no doubt in my mind he can play um, you know anywhere. I mean, not even just the Big Ten in uh, any other conference. He's just a guy who does a tremendous job with his leadership, his size, his ability. His skills are um, you know easily translated into those other uh, conferences. So I don't see why he wouldn't have been able to you know play there. And But uh, he's obviously made a name for himself, and he's here right now, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay, talking with John Moffat from Wisconsin. Uh, John, talk a little, little bit about working with Brandon Fusco this week on the offensive line, some of your impressions. Oh, it's been good. I think he's a uh, he's good center and we communicate well, so it's been a good week. How much uh, competition is there between the centers on this team? Uh, you know, it's not really like that. We have our lines and, and you know, we're, we play when we play and, and that's it. Did, uh, He's playing on a line that's very Big Ten oriented. Is, is Brandon a, a Big Ten caliber line from, lineman from what you've seen? He's, he's doing really well. He's been playing well, and, and uh, I like him a lot, and uh, it's nice to play next to him. All right, Brandon, we've uh, you've gone through four days of workouts now. Last actual workout tomorrow is just kind of a walkthrough. Yeah. What are your impressions? Uh, I think so far, uh, day four, I've had a solid week of practice. Uh, I've improved every day since day one. Uh, day one was a little, a little iffy with the first couple of plays. You know, I got adjusted to the you know, the speed and the strength very well. What it I'm very comfortable right now. I feel like I'm right up there with these guys playing with them. So. What, are, what have some of the other guys said to you during the week about your, your play? And uh, you know, they said, uh, you know, I started out a little rough, like I said, and uh, they said I adjusted well, uh, played well, played very well you know, since you know, from today, you know, day three, day two. So, uh, I mean, they don't say too much, but uh, they, they know I'm improving. So. Great. What uh, What do you look forward to on Saturday? Just, uh, you know, playing in front of 40,000 people here, and I've never played in front of a crowd like that, so that's something I'm looking forward to.